Hello, Palisades Park Junior Senior High School. Welcome to the weekly news. I'm Leah Williams alongside Kaylee Corral. Yesterday, the school hosted a junior parent night. Junior's parents were invited and encouraged to attend for the upcoming senior year and to review college choices. I thought it was important that junior parents became more involved early in the college application process. So each college is different. If you go on college... In this event right now, what we're speaking about is the college process, credits that students would need in order to graduate, what to expect, like financial aid, what a college application is, different types of colleges. So these are all things that a lot of people know about, but they don't really know the inside pieces. So this is what we're sharing with our parents. March is Women's History Month. For the next few weeks, we will be highlighting influential women. For this week, we'll be highlighting Ida B. Wells. She was an Amer African American advocate who fought for women's suffrage and African American rights in the late 1890s. Um, she was an important figure for women because of her work in the uh, women's suffrage movement, especially for black women and African American women. Um, for the time period, women didn't have a lot of rights, especially women of color, so um, she really helped to stand up for women and especially African American women. There was a women's suffrage like parade and they wanted the African American women to walk in the back and she said nope, she walked in the front. Um, so she was, you know, no matter the consequences, she was challenging like the status quo and what was going on in like the 1890s into the early 1900s. In 2020, Ida B. Wells, writing on the violence African Americans faced during the lynching era, won a Pulitzer Prize in special citations and awards. On Wednesday, eighth graders attended an internet safety presentation. Bergen County's Persecutor's Office Cyber Crimes Unit spoke to students about proper use and awareness of cyber technology. Our, our access to the internet is, is dangerous if we're not protecting ourselves. So we have to be careful about what we share online and what we do online. Our job here in the school, aside from teaching them English, math, science, and all that, is really to, to teach them life skills so that they can be safe and productive members of society. And we may be more trusting of someone. This past week, senior Jylan Rivera represented Palisades Park High School at Bergen County Ceremony, honoring local schools' unsung heroes. Students will be given this award for their positive contributions to the school community. Being nominated, I feel completely honored because, like, being an unsung hero to me, it means, like, somebody that's always, like, participating in school and somebody that's, like, helping out their school and their community. Jylan has always been a very involved member in her community, whether it be in school or outside of school. She's a very approachable person as well, which I think are all qualities that make her a really perfect candidate for having won this award. Today, the AP Psychology students are at the Paradox Museum located in the American Dream Mall. AP Psychology teacher, Ms. Lewis, says a trip will give students more experience and insight on psychology principles. It's really important that these kids get um, a, a really great application of all of this theory that we've been teaching. So we're going to be looking at optical illusions, we're going to be looking at um, gestalt psychology principles, and just taking a lot of pictures and having a lot of fun. Spring sports start next week. Track and field starts on Wednesday, March 13th at 310 at the county field. Softball and volleyball starts Thursday the 14th at 3 p.m. in the gym. Golf will also be Thursday at 3.30 p.m. at Driver Field. Baseball will be next Friday, March 15th in Ridgefield High School. Our party fundraiser started yesterday. Teacher's jars are located in the cafeteria. Those with the most donations will be pied on March 14th. This is definitely an event you don't want to miss. I wake up feeling cold from the whipped cream and how cold it was when it hit my face. It was a year ago, but it still feels like it happened yesterday. It was March 14th. I wake up in the middle of the night and all I could think of is pies being thrown in my face and people laughing at me and cheering for the pie students. Guilt? I do not feel guilt. What happened to you last year? It's tough to even talk about. It just, just got pied in the face, but it's hard to forget. Last year, on March 14th, we now know as Pi Day. 
Drop some money in a jar during your lunch period to vote on a teacher you want to see getting pied. All the money in the jar goes strictly to the food pantry in St. Michael's Church, so who doesn't like that? That's it for today's show. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at PalPKVideo, our Instagram at PPHS underscore news source, and the high school's Instagram at PalParkHS. I'm Kaylee Corrado. And I'm Leah Williams. And now it's time for Mr. Wiseman's Dad Joke of the Week. Did you hear about the two art teachers that got into a fight? It ended in a draw. <laughs>